Let's make a lemon balm balm together. Hi everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and right now in Toronto it is prime lemon balm harvesting season and since I have it growing in three different areas of my garden, I thought I'd show you how I do a lemon balm balm. Step 1, the infusion process. You're gonna need some lemon balm and some liquid oil. I chose avocado oil because it lasts a pretty decent amount of time without going smelly and rancid. If you don't have access to fresh lemon balm, you can always purchase the dried version as we're gonna dry them anyway. Start by picking your lemon balm. The more you pick, the stronger the infusion, and as the leaves are left to dry, they will shrink. But also keep in mind that overpicking an area can interfere with its growth for following years, so definitely leave the roots in there and resist the urge to pick the plants clean. You want to leave enough for other animals as well as your future self. Here's my harvest after being rinsed with water. Allow them to air dry until crunchy. I left them out in the sun for about 3 days. You should hear the crunching of lemon balm when it's ready to use. This drying process is super important because if you accidentally retain some of the moisture in your leaves, it can contaminate the batch and the oil will go bad quicker. I reuse this container because the brown tint will help protect the oils. I squished in all my lemon balm, leaves as well as the stems into the jar. You can crush the leaves beforehand if desired. Then top it with your avocado oil. You want to make sure that the oil completely covers your lemon balm and you may need to push it down a couple times during the infusion process. Close the lid and allow it to sit in a warm spot for at least 10 days and shake it when you get a chance. The longer you let it steep, the stronger your potency, so some people will wait about 2 months. Step 2. The Balm I'll let most of my infusion sit for longer, then strain it, but I'll take a little bit to show you how the balm will come together. I used 3 tablespoons of beeswax, 2 teaspoons of coconut oil, 1 teaspoon of cocoa butter, and of course 3 teaspoons of the lemon balm infused oil. In the oven or over stove top, melt together all the ingredients using low heat and combine well. My clip was sped up. Once everything is melted together, remove from heat and once it's cooled, it's ready to go. I actually transferred mine to a glass container before letting it cool. To use, rub into the skin or use it as a lip balm. Lemon balm is excellent for promoting calmness and sleep as well as reducing stress and anxiety. One of the more interesting studies that I found included using lemon balm in herpes cases. They did use extract which is much more potent than infusions but you can still find ways to integrate the properties of lemon balm into your everyday life. That is all I have for you for this week. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button as well as to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss a thing.